These are the times that try men's souls. Oh, Ben, Tom Paine said that, not you. Anyway, old Tom was right when he penned that line on December 23rd, 1776. But I was in a bind. The Continental Army had been dealt with many defeats, and enlistments were up for a lot of the men at the end of the year. So I had to act quickly. With the British retiring to winter quarters along the Delaware River, Washington decided to capitalize on this. On Christmas Day, 1776, Washington planned to cross the Delaware River to strike the Hessian garrison at Trenton, New Jersey. I didn't tell my men until I absolutely had to in order to keep the mission a secret. I know it seems irrational to cross an icy river in the middle of a nor'easter pouring down snow and sleet, but I knew that that was the only way to surprise those Hessian mercenaries. We actually knew in advance about Washington's plans, but given his track record to date, we didn't think it was so serious. In fact, we told our Hessian troops in Trenton to enjoy their Christmas festivities, but be vigilant. We patriots knew what we were doing installing Washington as general. He knew time was his greatest enemy and was trying to arrive in Trenton by 5 a.m. to surprise those Hessians. Yeah, but you know the weather in the winter. It's rough. Although we were over three hours behind schedule, I knew we had to charge on. On Christmas evening, Washington's army commenced its crossing of the half-frozen Delaware River spread across three locations. Washington led nearly 2,400 soldiers across the icy and freezing river and reached the New Jersey side of the river at dawn. As we were making our way across the Delaware, the wind and snow picked up as it got colder and colder. I just didn't know if we were going to make it. I had my doubts and thought that at some point we should maybe turn back but I was determined to push on. In addition to Washington's troops, there were two other Patriot forces attempting to cross the Delaware. Colonel Cadwallader was to lead his force of 1,200 Philadelphia militiamen and 600 Continentals across the river near Burlington, New Jersey. General James Ewing's force of nearly 800 Pennsylvania militiamen was to cross the river directly opposite of Trenton. Wow, Ricky! I'm freezing cold just thinking about this. Yep, Virgil. Little known fact that the majority of the Patriots didn't make it across the Delaware River in time. Washington and the Continental Army arrived at Trenton just as the sun rose on December 26, 1776. We were freezing after the crossing. We barely had enough clothes on our backs, much less sufficient food supplies. Some of my fellow soldiers really suffered from frostbite. The army took the nearly 1,400 Hessians under Colonel Johann Rao completely by surprise, with one column commanded by Nathaniel Green attacking from the north and another commanded by John Sullivan attacking from the west so that the Hessians couldn't retreat south. Yep, those Hessians didn't know what hit them. Some of the Hessians escaped, but we were able to capture most of them, including their leader, Raoul, who was mortally wounded. Washington really nailed this one. Hit the Hessians at the perfect time. Yep, the Hessians were sleeping it in after their Christmas parties. This daring action by Washington and his men showed the British that we Patriots were down but not out. We Americans had defeated a major garrison and suffered only five men wounded in action. The Hessians, on the other hand, had 22 men killed, 83 wounded, and almost a thousand missing and captured. Yep, and that wasn't the only Delaware crossing. We crossed the river a couple more times. The second crossing was the hardest because we had to ferry the prisoners and supplies we had captured back across the river. The Battle of Trenton wasn't a huge strategic success for the Patriots, but it was a real morale booster for the Army, and it showed the British that the Continental Army could win. The Battle of Trenton was a real wake-up call for us. We had just come off a string of wins in New York and thought we could enjoy a little R&R in Christmas festivities. Honestly, we didn't think Washington could pull off any victory, but we were wrong. I would go almost as far to say that if we didn't prevail at Trenton, the war may have been lost. It was sort of our last chance. 